Using urine drug test strips as a harm reduction tool. What's in your cooker? Accidental overdose is the number one killer in people under 50 in the United States. More than 64,000 people died in 2016 as a result of an overdose. That's more than all the people who died in the Vietnam War. What has changed is that a drug called fentanyl is getting mixed into the street drug supply. Fentanyl is 50 to 100 times more powerful than morphine, and a little too much can be fatal. So how can you protect yourself? First off, use the buddy system. Get high with a friend and take turns so that if one of you ODs, the other can help. Carry Narcan, also known as naloxone, the drug that reverses opiate overdose. Despite what some fake news reports have said, there isn't Narcan-resistant fentanyl. Narcan is an opiate blocker, and fentanyl is a synthetic opiate. Period. End of story. How can I find out if fentanyl is in my drugs, you ask? Did you know that you can use urine test strips to see what's in your drugs? It's quite simple, and no, you don't have to pee on them. Let's say you had some drugs you were going to inject. Prepare your shot as usual, making sure to use a sterile, never-before-used cooker, as well as a sterile syringe. Draw your shot up into the new syringe and set it aside. Now, add a little water back into the cooker. You're going to test the residue. Open a test strip and be sure to hold it by the top. Dip it into the cooker and keep it there for about 15 seconds. Afterwards, lay it across the top of the cooker and wait for the results to appear. They happen pretty fast, usually in less than 30 seconds. On to the results. One line is positive for fentanyl, and two lines are negative. The drawback is, unfortunately, they don't tell you the percentage of fentanyl present, but knowing is half the battle. Why is it important to know? Because an educated consumer is an empowered consumer, and you can make an informed decision. If it tests positive, you have options. One, you can shoot half back into another sterile syringe, which may not only be life-saving, but also cost-effective. Or two, you may even choose not to do it. Or three, some other option you may come up with that we didn't come up with here. Remember to go slow, because once it's in you, you can't take it out. But you can always do a little more later. If you're not an injector but sniff your drugs, you can empty the contents of your baggie and add a little water to the empty bag and test the residue that way. If pills are your thing, you'll want to crush and mix them first. Fentanyl does something called chocolate chipping. When pressed into a pill, it tends to bind to itself, so you'll want to mix them first to get the best results. After testing, you can snort it, shoot it, or mix it into a beverage and drink it. A negative test doesn't mean that there isn't fentanyl in your drugs. There may be one of the analogs that the strips don't test for. Here's what we know so far. We know that superior quality test strips work for butyrol fentanyl, acetyl fentanyl, furanol fentanyl, oxyfentanyl, sulfentanyl, carfentanil, the elephant tranquilizer, 3-methylfentanil, p-fluoral fentanil, valeryl fentanil, and remifentanil. So once again, go slow, because once it's in you, you can't take it out. And did you know there are also test strips for different drugs, so you can see if what you got is actually what you paid for? Stay safe and know what's in your cooker. Written and directed by Van Asher, St. Anne's Corner of Harm Reduction. Artwork and animation can be found on Facebook by UA Morrison.